Hamiri Modala in Dolo Panglao checking out this uh, crazy event. It's a biking event. And uh, this is the starting line and the finish line. Let me tell you more about this event. So it's a cycling endurance challenge. Um, it's from France and it's been around since 1891. Mm -hmm. So normally when we think of cycling events, we always think of a race. Yeah. But Audax is very different because it's really more of a cycling challenge where you cover such long distances and you're given a predetermined time to finish. We usually give the route well ahead of time so that the cyclists would know how to navigate through that route because it's actually one of the things that the participants need to do as well. Research and know the route well in advance. Mm, yeah. So it really is a cycling challenge and not a race. So they have to get 200 kilometers for an estimate of 13.5 hours biking. 300 kilometer race for an estimate of 20 hours. And like if it's not enough, they also have the 400 kilometers race. How crazy is that? I didn't even know it was possible to bike for 400 kilometers straight. But apparently there are some people who can do this. So I'm really curious to find out what kind of people can do this race and I'm here at the finishing line waiting for some people like those crazy uh, those athletes that um, managed to do this let's see how it went for them how was the race today for you oh it was good really nice and scenic the weather was just good right yeah. it was raining and then uh it was a bit hot as expected but it, it's always hot in here right? how about the street conditions here in Bohol uh, it's uh, you felt safe all the time is yeah, that yeah, what yeah. was well That's organized why I always come back because wide open roads very scenic always safe the, the buses would give way and they're very friendly to the to the cyclists okay. they would wave and cheer oh that's so, very good to hear I'm sure that's an extra motivation yeah, for you yeah. guys to keep going yeah because and, and, he got a he got a yeah, flat. He got a flat. Oh, you got a flat tire? Yeah. And there so, was a local who had a way to be able to repair it. Okay, you get the support of the local, so that's yeah. good. Yeah, this is actually my best product experience. Ah, okay, so you did that before in different yeah. regions. So big and Tarla. You also been to France to do a yeah. similar race, right? The, the, real, the real deal. In uh, Australia, Port Albany for 1200. Kilometers. You did 1200 kilometers? Yeah, that, that's also the distance in France. You Paris, did this? West, Paris, <laughs> 1200 kilometers. That's My. the reason why we do this, to qualify so, for those rides. So this is just a training for you? <laughs> it's just a, uh, it's a fun ride. Just yeah. like a walk in it's the a, park, the 200 big, kilometers. It's a vacation it's like... ride to, <laughs> to enjoy it. How many hours? So the cutoff is 90 hours. 90 hours? 90 hours. I did the last time in about 81 hours. I didn't even know it was possible for a human being to do such a, <laughs> that's such a the, race. That's why it's called Odax. It's crazy. <laughs> it right? is crazy. And, and that's the mecca of all the, the qualifying rides. Uh, okay. The Paris Press Paris. Okay. Its history is even longer than the Tour de France. For more than 100 years, there have been crazy people doing this already. Yeah. And you're one of them. No, no, no. It's My respect, congratulations, really, because thank that's you, amazing you. what you did. Congratulations, thank also. Thank you, thank you. All the best. Enjoy the whole, okay? Yeah. Enjoy it. See you. Okay. The events like Audax actually is uh, it's a symbolic phenomenon, especially during this recovery phase. Yeah. Uh, because uh, it signifies that our destinations are open. Mm -hmm and that we are ready to welcome back our visitors not just from within the country but from all over the world yeah. so we've been mapping and documenting outdoors uh, activities kayaking, mm -hmm. nature trekking and even paddling um, what else do we do? mountain bikes you know, or cycling in general so outdoor activities we did that and we are hoping that we could get more people to visit us this time Yes, because the response was great today. You had a lot of participants. So hopefully we will see more events like this here in the region or here in Bohol also specifically. Actually for the entire month of June, there's a series of activities uh, here in Bohol. Like what? Uh, dive, for example, ah. farm court fitness, and then there's outdoor adventure trails. Okay. Again, it's part of Outdoor 7 program. It's like telling the, the world that, uh, again, destinations are ready and there is 
nothing that will stop us from welcoming back to this place. Yeah, that's amazing. And the visitor keep coming and keep coming. I can see the places are getting busier. And I hope we can continue in this direction. And uh, that's also thank to the support of the DOT. So keep it up with a good job, ma'am. We will, we will. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Starting, you know, the momentum is there mm -hmm. even when we we ended in 2020 because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. The momentum was, you know, pretty <laughs> good, steady, and strong. When the, the Philippines started to open up, we had three events in March this year. We wanted to see how the community will accept us. And true enough, you know, a lot of people were clamoring for events. They were so hungry <laughs> for something. So the community has always been there and it has grown so much because the cycling boom during the pandemic has just gone beyond our expectations. The community now, we're so happy to see that it's still there. Plus, there's still uh, room for growth. The Filipino cyclists, the community, it's very unique. Yeah. Like there's really compassion and people care for other people. Strangers helping strangers. It's a very common theme in the Philippine cycling community. You're the first one finishing this uh, 400 kilometers race. How was it for you? Ah, it's a uh, big. So I try to practice okay trying hard amazing how many hours i don't know i don't know <laughs> you just bike and then yeah <laughs> but it was all day all morning okay? so congratulations congratulations great job. this guy took 13 hours to finish the race they left this morning at 4 and it's now 5 30 13 hours to make to finish a race of that's supposed to be 27 hours so not even halfway that guy's a machine during this kind of events there's a lot of waiting going on but it's not a problem to wait especially when you are in a place like this <laughs> that's what i'm talking about look at this bitch that's it going on in the background. Are new yes also. last month the Maguete was also new this one in Bohol is also new hopefully we will see you again here in Bohol because it was a very successful event the participants they were very happy with the race itself I mean with the so <laughs> event. Can, with the event I mean even with the route with the right. with the street and with the people cheering around yes, yes, so yes. hopefully we will see you again here oh thank you will you will thank be back or of course thank you for <laughs> okay. I would like to apologize if I keep calling them crazy. <laughs> this, I just found out that the word Oda, Oda means uh, audacious, courageous, bold. 
So that's what those people really are. So sorry if I, I use the wrong term. <laughs>